So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom stylized QR code for your portfolio or business using Stable Diffusion and ControlNet. So without any further delay, let's jump straight into it. And first off, well, you're going to need a QR code. So on this website, I'm going to leave a QR code for my link tree. And the only thing that I'm going to set up is uh, the fault to H30. Uh, this basically will ensure that no matter how long uh, the link that I have, uh, the generated link tree is uh, going to work with this method. Then I'm going to download it as a PNG. And once it's downloaded, in Stable Diffusion UI, Web UI, I'm going to go to the Image to Image tab. As you see here, I've already set up my prompt. And I'm going to choose uh, the QR code that I've generated in that website. And I'm going to leave the steps at 50. And I'm going to use DPM uh, plus 2 MKRS because it's quicker. And the width and height, I'm going to set them up to 768 by 768. I've also left the batch uh, to 5 because uh, the QR code is uh, functional in 1 and 4 times, honestly. Um, as you're going to see here once you do it yourself. Uh, it's somewhat difficult to get a function in UR code, but with this method uh, that I'm going to do here, I'm going to use tile. I'm going to use tiling and control net. Um, this should work fine. This method and the other method is going to use uh, the brightness setting uh, and control net. Uh, they work fine. Um, and copy the settings that I have here with the weight and uh, whatnot. These exact same settings are what you need to have. You can do the resize, but uh, it's not necessary in this case. So let me press the generate button and see what results I'm going to get with this prompt. By the way, I've used a LoRa here that I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so I can get a consistent uh, Solid Snake character from the series Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I just thought it would be cool. I mean, Oh, and by the way, if you haven't done so yet, you should update your control net uh, extension and download the tile model. And I'm going to leave another link to it in the description below. The tile model and the brightness model, I believe. Anyway, the results are back and this is what I got from the first pass. Obviously, I'm going to have to do some in painting and uh, I'm going to have to reset uh, control net uh, to make more emphasis on the control net model and not just the prompt so I can get uh, better results, and this is what you can get basically. And from what you can see here, the more stylized uh, your prompt is, and the more stylized the QR code is, the less likely it is to work, but the less stylized it is um, with the settings, um, you're going to get a better a QR code, a better function in QR code, like this one for example. This is one of the most function in QR codes, it works really quickly, you can scan it if you want. Uh, but it's not as stylized as the rest of the QR codes that I used with Snake. Um, again, I'm using Alora for Snake that I'm going to leave a link for in the description below. As you can see in my prompt, I've used a trained Alora for Snake. And as for the settings, uh, I'm going to use two control net models uh, this time. Uh, so I can have both a stylized QR code and a functioning one as well. So what you basically want to do in the second uh, control net model, in addition to the basic tiling model that we discussed in the first step, uh, I want you to use uh, the brightness model, I believe it's called. Uh, it's uh, called the InPaint Global Harmonious preprocessor, and the model is going to be uh, the brightness model. And the QR code, again, you're going to have to struggle between having a stylized QR code where the character is obvious and uh, you can see it clearly, and a QR code that is actually functioning. So that is basically the challenge here either a stylized QR code or a QR code that's function. And I think this is the settings that I just showed you, which gave me these results. This is the best you can do. And why I used Snake is because I can use his camouflage as the QR code itself. This would make a lot of sense. For example, if you have trained Laura for one of the characters that you've made, um, you can come up with fantastic results uh, using this method. And so in conclusion, basically, uh, this is how you can make a QR code in uh, Stable Diffusion for your uh, link tree, portfolio, CV perhaps, or business. And you're gonna have to struggle between having something that is functional or something that is very stylized, but it takes a while for you to load. Uh, if you have any comments or any other things that you would like me to 
make in the future, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.